what I'm going to teach you today is the trig ratio table. It's another way to remember the trig. No. no. This looks orange on the. No, look up the, 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 the thing. Isn't it looks like a yellow screen shining? Oh, probably. It's a new light bulb. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you can see what I wrote. So, the way this uh, trig ratio table works is. You have your three trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent. The color changed because it takes a while to warm up. Okay. Then my um, angles that are on this table are 30, 45, 60. And I'm also going to write what these are as radians. So 30 degrees is pi 6 radians. 45 is pi fourths. And 60 is pi thirds. So as long as you remember the degrees, you can always use the conversion to turn it back into radians. So the way this table works is sine and cosine, all of my numbers are over 2. Where? Where are you guys? Oh, pi over three, yeah. So then, what I want to do is count up to three. So one, two, three for sine. And then anything, or technically everything, I take the square root of, but the square root of one is one. So then it just leaves me with the two and the threes under radicals. And then for cosine, I count down from 3. And same deal here. I want to take the square roots of everything. And the square root of 1 is still also just 1. So when I go to find my tangent, tangent is just sine divided by cosine. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my top and divide by my bottom. So I have 1 half divided by the square root of 3 over 2. Which, remember when I'm dividing fractions, I can flip the second one. Those twos cancel out, and I have 1 over the square root of 3. And then I don't like leaving that like that. So I rationalize my denominator, which gets me square root of 3 over 3. So same thing for the 45. I have square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. 
But I have the same thing divided by itself, so this is And then the last thing is the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2. So again, I can flip the bottom fraction and multiply. So this chart gets me the three common reference angles. Then I need to remember which quadrant each of these are, yeah, each of these are positive in. So I have this. And then I'll give you, um, I, think, I think it's called a mnemonic. It's the phrase to help you remember it. I was just about to give you all of these. So um, the phrase to remember this is all students take classes. No, you can't. That's the quadrant numbers. These are to help me to remember which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So I still have my tra or my Roman numerals here. This is to help me remember the You can use it if you draw it yourself. I can give you a blank unit circle. So, A stands for all trig functions are positive. So in my first quadrant, all of those are positive, and then S, T, and C are corresponding to sine is positive in the second, tangent's positive in the third, and cosine is positive in the fourth. 